Hey guys, Mark McMahon, Mark McMahon Real Estate. Today I'm gonna call on a deal that's ridiculously overpriced and I'm gonna make a ridiculously low offer over the phone and I'm gonna nicely ask them if they've got anything that might be interesting coming up, which is the number one way I get deals and I wanna show you guys how I do it. And I'm going to do it all without offending the agent. Hopefully, sometimes they get really pissed. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, stay tuned and let's get right into it. Ariana? Yes. Hi, how are you today? This is Mark McMahon. Um, I'm an agent with eXp, but I, I'm 99% mostly an investor. And okay. I'm calling on your house on Hargrave. And yes. I'm wondering, um, I comped it and you know obviously it's it, it, it's it, the, the comps don't match this house. I'm just wondering if this if the seller is entertaining any reason what I would call a reasonable offer or are they stuck on that yeah. price? Um, you know here's the thing I do I'm, gonna be, I'm very transparent. I do have offers between 150 and 160. Do I think that absolutely um, for the condition yeah um, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm familiar, I'm familiar with that concept. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's astronomically overpriced. Yeah. Um, but my hopes are, you know, they gave me a month to sell it. It's okay. The listing up in March. Okay. Um, so my hopes are that, you know, they get their heads on straight and don't turn down nearly 400000 because they have another home on Evans up the street yeah. that somebody turned to fifty four. So do I think that's fair for both of them? Absolutely. Um, you know, but of course, sellers, you know, they're, oh, yeah. they're damn mighty. That's oh, yeah. like literally tear down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, so. Let's, let me do this then. <clears throat> let's stay in touch on this one because I, I mean, it's semi-interesting, and I don't even think I'd flip this one. I'd probably try to just get it fixed up as, a, as an inexpensive rental. Um, yeah. And because I'm not flipping a lot right now because, well, because of what's going on in the, in the economy. Um, but let me ask you a couple more questions and maybe we can work together on some other stuff. Do you have anything else out there interesting coming up? We're always looking for apartments and how single family homes, things like that, that we can rent, uh, get rented out and, and uh, you know, obviously make some cash flow on them. Is there anything else you've got? also in Banning. Um, that one's actually a little bit less of a project than okay. the one on Hargrave. Okay. Um, you know, it's usually still intact. <laughs> um, so, um, <laughs> this one, uh, you know, is still, in my opinion, overpriced. Uh -huh. um, for, you know, uh, my, my idea for this is for this owner to really see what these homes are actually worth in this today's market. Mm -hmm. They're not worth what I even listed for. I told him that, but I told him, you know, shoot, anything could happen. I don't know. Oh yeah. No, we're, we're, we're seeing stuff sell. I live in Orange County and we're seeing stuff sell higher than I would think. And we're seeing stuff sell lower than I would think. So it's, it's, we're in that market right now. We're, we're definitely in that market. I feel like, honestly, we're shifting a little bit into um, a little bit of a crazy market again because we, um, I put an offer on a house in Lake Elsinore and they got offers 45000 above list price and they removed the appraisal. And um, I was shocked. Because that, they that's got crazy. Offers. That's so yeah. crazy. Yeah. It, so, it's hit or miss. I don't know, um, you know what what's going to happen, but I definitely if I, I'm driving, if you could text me your information, I will definitely save your number because I do a lot of off market properties. Okay. Um, so you know, I can if I do come across something, I will definitely send it your way. Yeah, that sounds good. And we're all the way out in. In fact, we've got two apartment, uh, small apartment complexes we're rehabbing right now out in Cathedral City. So we, we go out that far, but I have to cluster my properties. Uh, uh -huh. So Cathedral City just happens to be a cluster I didn't plan on, but it's clustering right now. Um, yeah. And uh, so we're, we're always looking for uh, people that we can work with that'll bring us stuff all the time uh, so we can make it work. Um, okay, great. Uh, 
Gosh, uh, good information, and I appreciate it, Ariana. I will text you right now my information, and hopefully we can put something together here in the next month or two. Yes, thank you so much, Mark, and I hope you have a great day, and I hope to work with you soon. Yeah, me too. I, I would That would be great. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right, okay, bye. Bye-bye. All right, so I would say if I had to give that call a score of one to 10, I would say that's probably about a high six or a seven. Reason being is because she's very eager to work with investors. Um, she understands that we're easier to deal with. Um, you're gonna get a yes or no answer out of us much easier than someone that's buying a house to move into. There's a lot of emotions involved in that. Uh, I, I would have scored it higher if she said she had a property coming up that was a great, great deal. Uh, I believe we did a phone call last week where there was a smoking hot phenomenal deal that came up and uh, we're negotiating on that one right now as we speak. Uh, in all honesty, it wasn't as phenomenally hot as she said. It's still a really good deal, but it was not exactly what she portrayed it to be. Uh, which is gonna be the case a lot of times. And you just have to be really careful. Again, you guys, I really want this to be a rule that you write down on your desk on a sticky note and put it somewhere. Real estate agents are in the business to sell houses. Investors are in the business to buy houses. They have to meet in the middle somewhere, right guys? When you're first starting out, your first inclination is to listen to that real estate agent that says, yes, this house is worth this much and it's gonna be worth this much when you're done with it and you're gonna get this much rent. I want you guys to understand that you need to figure that out for yourself, right? You cannot count on somebody else to basically run your business and make your decisions for you. Super important that you do that because otherwise, People will be selling you all kinds of things that don't quite work, right? Because that's their business. Not to sell you things that don't work, but rather to sell you things. So just make sure you vet all of your own properties on your own. I like to get an idea from the agents. It's, it, it's interesting. At least it gives me an idea as to whether I should look into it or not. But if someone says, hey, look, I've got a house that uh, it's $100,000 and it's really worth $500,000, of course I'm gonna question that and I'm gonna wonder why it's so cheap, especially in a market where things are actually selling on the lower end. All right, so another phone call, good stuff, but just imagine this. Everybody out there, all you guys and gals out there that are learning how to get into real estate or aspiring to get into real estate, if you make 15 to 20 of those kinds of phone calls every single day and you end up writing seven to 10 offers a week, you will be getting deals if you follow up on those offers, if you stay on top of them. Guys, it's an amazing business. And if you happen to be a real estate agent, well, you can represent yourself and save a little bit of money on commission. Or you can make the agent really, really happy and let them double end it. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, the idea is to get properties and make sure that those properties work. So if you wanna learn more about that, uh, Justin's gonna put a couple of videos down below. Uh, talking about how to vet properties. We've got a video called the 40% rule that we've been talking about for years now. And it's a really quick way to analyze whether a property works or not as a rental. All right, guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really want you to go back over and watch this again and listen to what I said to her. Um, it sounds like I'm just saying random things, but it's things I've been saying for years. I'm getting the answers I want. She's answering the questions that I'm asking. And I got enough information on this one video to know that she likes to work with investors. And that's a great one. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna text her my information and hopefully we can have a real estate relationship and I can get more properties from her. Anyway, guys, thanks a bunch for being here and I'll see you next time.